Okay, boys and girls, here's a short demonstration um, uh, of our lab that we did today. Today I'm using uh, the two indicators, black tea and uh, red cabbage juice. Although it's purple, we call it red cabbage juice. We're going to first start off with our first solution, which is called vinegar. There's a bottle of vinegar right here. I'm going to put uh, a couple of drops of vinegar in both indicators until I see a color change. So here's the vinegar going into the first well of the red cabbage juice. We see a bright pink color change. And when you put the vinegar inside of the black tea, it makes the, the, the tea um, a lighter brown. So now we're going to go ahead and use a clear soda. Actually use the... Uh, white grape clear soda smells pretty good so here's a clear soda going into the red cabbage juice and here's some going into the black tea good now we're going to go ahead and test water in the third well You see there's really no color changes with the water. Now moving on to the bases. We're going to test baking soda. Let's see what color baking soda turns red cabbage juice. It's a pretty blue color. Some of you guys call it turquoise, which is fine. And when you put the baking soda into the black tea, it makes it darker. Now let's go ahead and test ammonia. Ammonia is a pretty strong base, so I had to dilute it with some water so we can get an accurate um, color change for our lab. So ammonia changes red cabbage juice all to a dark blue color. And then we put ammonia inside of black tea. Look how dark it turns with black tea. Yep, some soap got in there. That's okay. Now for a final solution. Uh, this time, boys and girls, the bleach that I used for your uh, indicators actually took all the color out, so I added more water to it. And I'm hoping that this time, instead of us getting um, just all white, we'll probably see a real color change. Let's see if it's going to work. I haven't even tested it out yet. It's my first time. I don't know from your perspective, but I see a little bit of blue. Yeah, I see a little bit of blue, and I may have diluted it too much, but there is a blue right there. Very good. That's better than what we got earlier today. Let's go ahead and put that inside of the black tea. Do a couple more drops there. And it got darker. So as you can see, um, your bases for your red cabbage juice turn the red cabbage juice to greens and blues, dark greens and blues. And for um, the acids, the acid turns the, ca the red cabbage juice a variation of pinks and purples and reds. And if you look at the continuum uh, pH scale with a, with a black tea, it starts off light, but then it starts to get really, really dark as it goes into the bases. So there you have it. There's the full summary of how um, your two indicators, red cabbage juice, and black tea interacts with acids and bases. Thank you.